wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, pin code, pin code, pin code, pin code, pin code. Science can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Science can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code. Holy carrot, this place is big. Where on earth is Daco's cabin? It's like a maze in here. Yowzy! Crash, are you all right? Yeah, I know that dog anywhere. You okay, Chico? Look at that, <laughs> a mappy. We are here, good, jolly, and Doco is there. Sweet. Or you can take the shortcut. Huh? Hmm. Hey, what are you up to locked in here? We've been looking for you forever. Oh, hope we didn't come at a bad time. Uh, don't mind us. Just keep right on sciencing. As it happens, you are here at the perfect time, my invasive little friends. <laughs> but don't touch anything. Mm -hmm. I am on the verge of an amazing discovery in the subject of genetics. Hmm, I don't understand at all. Uh, so it's not bad for a change? Hmm? It's genetics, which is the study of variability and inheritance. <sighs> oh, all right, why don't we take it from the top? Each of us consists of tiny cells. These are the small bricks that make up our organism. They are so small, they can only be seen using a microscope. Oh. When we grow up, the number of cells increases. By the way, parts of the body, muscles, skin, internal organs, have their own unique cells. These cells have different functions and properties. But how do the cells know where to grow? Like, what if I ended up with leg cells instead of ear cells? Or something even worse? Good question. To keep such mistakes from happening, wise nature invented a special molecule that has the blueprints of our body in it, DNA. There is such a molecule in every one of our cells. DNA molecules hold information about what grows where in all organisms. We inherit this molecule from our parents, which is why we have a lot in common. Everyone has their own unique DNA. So some grow horns, others spikes, and others big ears. Certain parts of the DNA, called genes, are responsible for every difference. There are over 30,000 genes in our DNA. I never knew that I had so many special features. You have them all right, and every single one of these features has its own gene. There are even genes that are responsible for our individual character traits. Holy carrot! Can we add some genes that give us super awesome powers and stuff? Uh -huh. If someone had superpowers, they would come from their genetics, all right. But we haven't yet figured out how to create the gene for superpowers. <laughs> However, we can cultivate plants that are cold weather resistant. We can also make plants that won't be eaten by bugs. Why, I've been working on something like this for Barry, in fact. So you're able to alter a plant's genetics? Yes, I am. The science of genetics examines and changes genes. For example, we now have learned to change the genes of some plants. Such plants are called genetically modified. Scientists can make cold-proof tomatoes and radishes that bugs can't eat. My experimental carrot, however, is not just cold-resistant. <laughs> 
and insect-proof, I've designed it with something more, something very special as a big surprise for Barry, so please don't tell. Come and look at it! Possibly the greatest achievement in the entire history of genetics! You might say that I put the gene in genius, <laughs> or the genius in gene. Or... not. Uh -huh. oh? Oh, 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 oh. But where is it? My greatest discovery! And it's gone! What was your discovery anyway? It was a game changer! I'd managed to speed up the rate at which cells divide! Which means that my fruits and vegetables could be ready for cultivation in a single day's time! But my enhanced carrot prototype is gone! Could, um, your super carrot have come to life, Daco? Do you think? I'm pretty sure it could not. Why do you ask? <laughs> 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 um, this hat resembles berries, except, of course, it's upside down. Uh, Daco? You don't see that every day. Well, spread my fertilizer. Where on Earth is, well, everything. Hello. <laughs> Get out of my we'll way! Get a speed boost from the breeze if we turn left. No, we left. need to turn right! Left! Right! Left! Right. Left! What in the turnip is this? that's noticed that Barry has put on a little bit of weight? There is a small chance that this might be my genetically enhanced experimental carrot's fault. I managed to speed up the vegetable's growth rate so it can grow from seed to ripe in 24 hours. It seems Barry might have eaten my hyper carrot prototype. And the enhanced carrot growth genes somehow enhance the bear's growth genes. Barry's cells are multiplying with awesome speed. So he grew. A lot! Is it possible to reverse the process and ungrow Barry to his normal size? <laughs> well, I've not had much luck making the hyper carrots get smaller, but every once in a while it actually has worked. I'm sure that the process will be a complete success in Hyper Barry's case. <laughs> <sighs> Try it already before this bear needs his own postal code! <laughs> I think I'm going to need a bigger lab! Hey! Clouds! Back off already! I can't stand it when my fur gets all wet! Hey, Barry! Can you hear me? Barry! <laughs> this is useless! We need to get closer to one of his gigando ears. There's something very wrong here. Where am I? Where's everybody else? <sighs> Smell that bare head mountain air. We're the first explorers ever to be here. <gasps> A crash? Perhaps not. <sighs> Yeah, you're right. I was gonna start a colony up here called Crashtralia. <laughs> Let's go spelunking in a big bear ear. Like something flew into my eye. No! Oh! 
Barry! Freeze! Crash? Where are you? <laughs> Don't turn around! Don't move a single muscle! Am I on one of those hidden camera deal things? Barry! This is not a prank show! Something huge has happened to you! Literally! Let me explain! And then you almost stepped on him like... aren't thinking clearly, my friend. All the findings from my experiment should be published. And I would rather not live in the land of the giants, thank you very much. Oh. In the interest of public safety, frost-proof tomatoes oh. are where we should draw the line. But things turned out all right. Take a look. <laughs> this time, everything turned out all right. But that was luck, not science. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, got him. I had no idea that hedgehogs could be so brave. <laughs> I'm strong and handsome as well. Hmm? Guess I've got great genes, right? <laughs> 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 